did you end up in the Gambia? So I never really planned to go to the Gambia, but an editor of a magazine in London, England, had seen my images uh, from my Ghana series in a few travel magazines. He liked my work and asked to meet me. And after he met me, he offered me a commission to go to the Gambia to photograph stock images for his magazine. Now, I was a little concerned because it would be two weeks in the Gambia and I assumed that his expectations were he would get a nice portfolio of images like what he saw published in the travel magazine, but I had been to, the Ghana, been to Ghana several times. I had a lot of contacts, I had made a lot of friends, a lot of experience, just a lot of time in Ghana making images. And I wanted to make it clear that I had no contacts in the Gambia and couldn't promise him uh, you know, the same results or the same quantity of images. But even after I said that, he just told me, don't worry, I have contacts. And okay, great, awesome. I even asked him at one point for a phone number to see if I could talk to them before I went. But he said it was totally unnecessary. He's got it covered, I've got contacts, great. When I arrived, I discovered that my contact was what is known in the Gambia as a bumpster. Uh, he's a hustler. And so he makes his money uh, guiding tourists and getting commissions from the taxi driver that he brings the tourists to or the hotel or the club. He's getting a commission from the person, the tourist, but he's also getting a commission from whoever he brings that tourist to you know, whether it's going to the beach or going on a boat ride or whatever it is. So this hustler, he was a little rough on the edges in my, in my opinion. And the first day that we went out, I noticed, I mean, he was also a translator because in Gambia they speak many languages besides English like Wolof and Mandinka uh, and others. So he would be speaking in Wolof or Mandinka but I could sense that some of the people I was photographing didn't want to be photographed. And I didn't really like, it was unsettling for me. I just didn't feel comfortable taking pictures against people's wills. So uh, in the end, after he had told some lies to some people that I was gonna you know, build them a well, and I said, oh, what did you tell them? Oh, I told them you're gonna build them a well. I said, I'm not, why did you tell them that? Oh, don't worry, they'll forget. So then that was the day that I said, ah, I'm going to take pictures of you, my guide and your friends. And that's what I did for the next two weeks. It, it, was, it was great and it was really lovely to get inside in, of the lives and see, you know, how the bumpsters or hustlers live. Um, you know, it's a kind of an aspect of a life that I never would have seen and never would have thought to even investigate. It kind of just fell into my lap and uh, it was a really good experience.